Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the uh, last video of Sonic Adventure. So last time, uh, we beat the story, or, well, the whole game, and uh, I decided to showcase the Chow Garden. Uh, I didn't talk much about this. I remember mentioning it um, in Sonic's playthrough, but I did not showcase it. So uh, here it is. This is the Chow Garden. Sonic Adventure's Chow Garden. And um, nothing much you can really do here. I know you can already tell that I already raised some chows sort of um this is what the chows look like they are blue creatures um no for the arms because uh his arm is different because i gave him well i, I changed his appearance and uh, there's three you can hatch well i actually got the golden chow from the store so and uh, the way you can actually change the chow's appearance is by playing the levels uh, these animals you can get. Uh, that's you're probably wondering what they were for. They're for the Chow Garden, and you can use that to change the Chow's whole entire appearance. No matter what animal it is, um, you can give it to the Chow. They'll it's absorb it, and they'll be that they'll have like parts of that animal. And I think that's kind of actually kind of cool there. Uh, well, depending how well depending how you, you play the Chow Garden. Uh, some people don't like it, and some people kind of like it, but uh, yeah. It's alright. <laughs> um, you can play with any character, each Chow Garden. So, um, I got all the Chow Garden, or the animals I met from the level. So, they give it to this Chow right here. Now he has his part. He's a Koala Chow, and I was on accident. <laughs> it's really hard to pick up Chows. And, uh, yeah. You can also name your chow, but I didn't bother doing that for some reason. <laughs> I didn't know where to go or how to do it. Give it to this golden chow. And now he's think, part seal. I think that was a seal I gave it to. And uh, here he is. You can't really tell because he's solid gold. So. so I got three chows in here. And you go to these uh, uh, platforms and they'll teleport you to other um, well, areas of the Chow Garden. So there's the Egg Carrier and the Mystic Ruins. So why not showcase the knees? Um, oh wow, the Chow's right here. Kind of odd. He just appears right there. And um, I guess I guess because it's randomized, so don't wander anywhere. So yeah, there's only two Chows. There's a probably a third one somewhere, but it's usually two. And then you feed it. Uh, by shaking the tree, um, when it turns brown, then it'll get, it's gonna like let go. So you gotta keep shaking for you to get that uh, fruit. Uh, you could also do chow races, um, all kinds of things. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 uh, does this. Like, there's so much going on with Sonic Adventure 2 than Sonic Adventure. Uh, not that Sonic Adventure's Chow Garden not that good. It's, it's all right. Um, it's just that this is the first time I'm playing the Chow Garden, so. So, yeah, because, you, you know, we you, you know the story of me not having this game before. So, uh, let's go to the Mystic Ruins, see what that's like. And I actually got a Chow there. Um, I wish, I thought you could bring it to the Station Square, but, uh, no, just only the Mystic Ruins. This is the Mystic Ruins, uh, Chow Garden. It's really nice. Um, yeah, there's an egg there we have a hatch. Um, there's a chow swimming. Um, the silver one's somewhere. Oh god, camera. <laughs> but uh, this is, I actually like the three areas. This is the only three areas you can go. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'll do the same thing with Sonic Adventure 2's chow garden. I probably will. I, I hear that that is so much better than this one, and I can understand that. Here it is. Here's the silver chow that I got from Mr. Owens in the waterfall. Um, you could actually get it. I, but I know I didn't know you can get it get it while like during the stories. So uh, yeah, that was all three areas of the Chow Garden, and uh, so that's pretty much it. I can showcase. There's a blood. There's nothing much going on. Of the Chow Garden, uh, there's the spate or blood the Chow race. 
uh, you can play, but uh, I was gonna play it, but it keeps crashing on me for some reason. I'm not sure what's, what's the deal with that. Um, I don't, I don't know. I I don't know what to do about that. Uh, my first time even playing a Char Garden, so. But well, hopefully I can showcase it in Sonic Adventure 2, this Chow Garden. And if this game ever gets remastered, I will actually redo this playthrough for sure. Um, pending, well, if that will ever happen. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm not going to do any, anything else, bleh, anything extra. That's it. Um, I was going to do the missions, but I decided not to. In the Sega Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure, uh, they are less of a big deal, but in the DX version, they are, if you want to get the bonus of uh, not only getting the Sonic Game Gear games, but you can also get Metal Sonic. He's a playable character. Uh, he's not a mod or anything. He's actually a playable official character. Um, so yeah, he plays just like Sonic, really. So that's that you need, that's what you need to know. Aside from when he starts running, he floats. And uh, there's actually a sign of of Sonic and Chris from the show Sonic X, and I think that's kind of cool. I, I think they were like advertising that show at the time, so that's that's really something in the DX version. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next Sonic playthrough. I won't say what Sonic game, but um, you just gotta wait and see. Uh, it may even surprise some of you. See you next adventure.